the most challenging uh, part I think about being an actor is quieting the noise and following your gut because there's so um, if it's the business or it's even like what you're saying on set or whatever it is there's a lot of um, it's 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 a constant challenge to keep reminding yourself of why you're in it and why you're there and uh, and to keep going back to the um, the impetus of your creativity um, and and I would say the the greatest part is 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 doing the work you know sometimes I have I, I one of my favorite parts is even before you start shooting like the rehearsal process and figure uh, you know uh, figuring out the script and working on it and um there's almost a artistic high that you get from it you, it's like i learned that really early my dad's a jazz pianist my mom's you know primarily just like a theater and film actress and uh they're both saying like the career oscillates and it goes up and down and there are peaks and valleys and 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 really being in a great movie is just like getting on the right train you know what i mean and, and doing and doing a and doing a good job but but the most important thing is to be uh, is to care about the art and and so for me it's like when I'm not working I'm always uh, you know I spent six months studying Hamlet during the pandemic and and being in a checkoff class and doing things that you know so I'm constantly trying to grow as an artist and then hopefully it's reflected in the in the films I do you know and then there was just ways in like what he's talking about in ways in 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 which w we made it kind of personal and in and, and, and ways we made the interpersonal relationships relatable, um, like the idea of being Svengali and the idea of having this almost love triangle. Um, those those things are universal truths, so whether you've been in the military or not, you understand those those feelings. Um, they gotta be and you got to make every moment really count, but not, you know, over... You know, it's like... Uh, there's different, um, I feel like there's different challenges being the lead of a movie, you know, there's a certain, you know, you have to pace yourself, you know, and you don't, and uh, you have to be really aware of the um, ups and downs of the, 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 and the tone of the movie. But as a, as a supporting player, you have to, um, you have to be crystal clear about what you're doing because um, no, nobody's really worried about you or your arc. They're really worried about, the, you know, the lead. And so you have to be, yeah. Yeah, that that performance doesn't work in the lead of a movie. Just like leading leading men sometimes struggle in a supporting role because you're like you don't realize this isn't about you, or like you know, a supporting actor is like you're playing this at eleven. Like this is like a four. Like this. You is watch somebody movie. like Sam Rockwell in a supporting performance, and he just nails every fucking moment. You know where where you know that he. Um, you know, he, or like Philip Seymour Hoffman, like, you know, he, he, when he would play a smaller part and, and uh, even a simpler, you know, maybe not as flashy a part, he would just, he owned every moment because, you know, there's this limited real estate. As we, yeah. As an artist, too, because you don't want to be thinking, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, you know, writing, a, you want to write the song that you, that you want to write. You don't want to write the song that you think people want to hear. And, um, and, and, people don't usually want to hear the thing that you're pandering to them. You know, they, they want to, they want to, they want to see and hear the thing that's like coming from the, that, that you're, that you're revealing to them. You know, they want to, so, I mean, I know that. And I, I feel like, it, you know, even people who aren't in the business, they can feel it like in a performance when it's coming from something genuine and when it's not, you know, they don't have to be like, I've gone to an acting class to see like, Oh, that's, somebody's bringing something truthful into it yeah yeah i mean that's, one of the things that's great about doing a movie like um kill team is that nobody's um the the pressure is only to make it as as good as it can be on its artistic merits and one of the things that can be hard with doing a bigger movie um is that if they're spending a lot of money you know there is the it, sometimes it it does mean that there's going to be a lot more eyes on you know, why are you talking that way? Or why are you wearing your shirt like that? Or, you know, why, you know, because, because there's a lot more at stake, you know, in terms of financially. And then also, if you're doing things based on uh, famous source material, right, like Death Note, like Death Note or, or like, um, you know, like the John Green mm -hmm. uh, movies that I was in, um, you know, there, there's a responsibility to do right by the fan base. Um, and, uh, and that has its own challenges and also can be, I mean, but then you have, you know, you have a built-in fan base that is so passionate about the, the 
project that it that it can also be inspiring. But what's great about a movie like this is it really is just fully an uh, an artistic endeavor and about making the best you know the best movie you can you you can make and 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 I think s even in the slight thing of changing the names of the real people, um, there was a certain freedom to say okay let's do our version of, of this story. You know, it's not a documentary, it's a movie. And, um, and but people think that you have a lot more control over your career than you do, you know, and you're kind of at the whim of, of uh, you know, uh, the casting director, director, producer's uh, imagination. But, um, but I like to do things that I've never done before. So I like to feel scared. And I think that's when I do my best work. <laughs>